Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to more Cat God Ranch, the roguelike drafting game that I'm excited to be back to here today. We've got only a couple animals left to unlock. We've got more stuff to unlock, of course, but we only got a couple animals. So the things we need to do are get 10 swans on the field and breed a bunch of bees. That's not particularly tough. So we're going to have the bird family, the insect family, and then... I don't know, it's, I feel like it's maybe been a while since we've done some crawling family action. Uh, so we're going to keep the bionic fish, because it seems wild. Uh... It has some downsides to it, has some upsides to it. We got Roly Poly, we got the refresh animals because this reduces the amount of animals we get to select from. So a refresh is really important. It brings us to seeing for free four animals every time, you know. So that's kind of nice. Obviously, a super rare animal at the beginning of the game is a very helpful thing as well. But we've also unlocked a new cat god. Five extra plots but it requires gold to unlock. I'm hoping that doesn't mean every plot, aside from like one requires gold to unlock, and I'm hoping it's just the five new plots, but that's pretty cool. It's a neat extra ability. We're gonna be going to the Ocean Ranch, of course, where we have five trash bags, which is an annoying thing to deal with as well, and some more fish hooks. All right, all that out of the way, in we are gonna go. Okay, cool. So it's just that we gotta buy them over here. So Queen Ant is a nice free way to start the game. There's Mantis, Longhorn Beetle, uh, King Cobra. I wish that we didn't have the limit of two here. We could get the Magpie. That's pretty good. Mag Magpie is a, a pretty darn good get for an early start. It's been a little bit, but yeah, Viper I do like because it's just like no matter what we do, Viper's going to be good. So I'll take that. And by that, I mean we're taking two Vipers because that's just how the bionic fish work. Um, Let's see. Animals added by parasitism. There's the pelican. If no animals were eaten at a pigeon, if it was a swan, I'd do it. Adjacent firefly breed into empty spaces I actually think is really good for a freebie, but we do have this. When the bee or queen bee is removed from a beehive, it'll leave behind honey. I'll tell you what, we'll do that. Maybe this could be our beehive build. I mean, we'll just see what we can do with that, obviously. Gecko or the hen, we could do a little bit of a reroll already. Night activity skink. We don't really wanna do that. He's gonna eat my bugs. We'll add the locust, but we'll probably want to get rid of them later. But I like that they're a twofer. Uh, they give us two there. B, we could go for the B, but we are... There we go. We are going to be looking for the swans. Because, for the love of God, I want this stupid swan ability. A hundred. Costs a hundred for that. I actually think I'm skipping, which is something that you don't really want to do early, but you can afford to do with bionic fish a little bit better. Be your mosquito. We get the swan. Okay. Something's probably going to get stolen in the upper left there. We'll see. No. Okay. All right. Not bad. We're, we're quite ahead, but we need, you know, 100. <laughs> that is a, a big deal. There's three or more of the same bird on the field. Each gives you an extra coin. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's going to, you know, it's going to be something. Oh, we got a we got a free queen bee. We got a free queen bee. That's really nice. And then we also got the treasure chest, which is spend five to automatically remove an item or to automatically get an item. I don't mind that the chicken or the uh, the the rooster is the one in there. That doesn't really bother me. We're gonna get two free cat food out of that. Which means maybe we leave it. We don't want to really spend any cat food on rerolls. God, it's so expensive, but I think we should probably do it. It's super annoying. It gets more and more expensive over the course of time. We like we can afford it. But we're I think the thing is we don't really want to get rid of the trash bags right now. Because we're going to be doing a build that's not particularly good. <laughs> you know? So we, I think we need that safety net there. Okay. Rooster Mosquito. I mean, we could take the roosters just for the extra free juice of it being two. But again, like, the Vipers are, are helping us out quite a bit. 
Okay. When the bee or queen bee is removed from the beehive, it'll leave behind honey. Every type, uh, every adjacent bird of the same type gets plus one. It's not like plus one for every adjacent, though. Like, that's a different story that's way better. But yeah, we're going to get the two cat food now. We got the parrot blown in. We got another free queen bee. That's super nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more pick of a swan. And we're chilling, man. And then we can start getting rid of all the swans, to be quite honest. we Because we don't really want them. <laughs> uh, we can do one roll. Yeah, like in which case we'd probably just get the eagle and let it uh, let it fly. Okay, so the question is, are we going to actually have them on the field? 200 for the next one. Okay. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> we will get there, though. We will get there. We don't really need to worry about it. It probably happens right now because we had something just evaporate here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There it is! For every four flamingos on the field, gain an additional... Wait, what? <laughs> For every four fl flamingos on the field, gain an additional one times econ of gold? Oh, okay. There's a 15% probability to breed around a puff. It's like the more of them you have... Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, mosquito skill, steel skills, steals. I think we want to say no to this because we do want to pivot out of the swans when we actually have like something to replace that with. Obviously, the cobra is. I guess it's fine. We don't need to get rid of it, especially when we have other king cobras to uh, to steal its econ. I guess it's not the end of the world. We're absolutely okay with this swan being stolen. I think we can buy an extra plot here. The earlier we do it, the more value it gives us over the course of the game if we have stuff taking up those plots. All right. We're out of queen... Mm -hmm. I was going to say, we're out of queen bees. So, all right. So the queen bees fill up the beehive. That's a level eight already. Level two, level three... All right, so we have 31, but that's not quite right. Because we have two here. Obviously, we have an overflow there. Um, we added two queen bees. Let's get rid of some of the swans. We have two empties. Let's, let's remove down to 15. This one's going to get removed here, obviously. Okay. Then we got that going as well. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Goose. No, thank you. 500. Okay. Another pretty big jump up. So as the bees die, they turn into basically a honey plot. Okay, I do like that that locust is caught. I think that that's useful. Could get the mayfly. I feel like I don't really need to, though. So, yeah, the bees add value to the beehive. To They add... Okay, well, we could, we don't really need to add a bee manually. They add value to the, uh, the beehive plot based off of their value that they have on them. So, like, I'm sure there's going to be some good ways to break that up. Did I free that bee? There's no point. There's no point. Okay. All right. We can get rid of this. Is it urgent? Not really. Two for every added animal. I'm actually going to grab that right now. I think it's okay. And then I'm just going to wait and try and get a little bit more uh, econ, potentially. I don't know what's going to go in this spot for that to take. But the Vipers are giving us so much free money, obviously. 
can remove the chest for an item. Goose and Swan. This is a cheaper way. Oh, it's actually perfect, especially. I really like that this eagle is trapped where we're going to be getting it. Like, yeah. It's a cheaper way to get rid of the, the swans and such. Magpie, there's nothing wrong with it at all. In fact, it is good. I just, I have done it a bunch, and I think we're just going to let it, we're just going to let it fly here. Ah, oh, you ate the viper. That's... That's right. I forgot you do that, don't you? Okay, so you're going to get yoinked, but we're going to get the cat food for it, which I'm happy about. Uh, lost one of our vipers. We need to remove this fly manually pronto. We can't let that fly. Uh, no pun intended. Um, value is not super high on the beehives yet. Okay, we definitely can't go for the removal here. What's this at 350? I could, but it's just like I would rather get the plots to see what's unique about the uh, the character here. Oof. Goose ants. We do still have two queen bees. No reason to really roll here. We'll have to keep in mind we technically do have 22 plots, and then you subtract one from the viper. So like, there's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, we're still we're still fine. Still fine, still fine, still fine. Almost eaten, probability of that alert, no. Alright, I think I might actually go for something now though. Two when a bug is removed, two for all other same bugs when a bug is added to the field. We do like that. I don't think I want to go too crazy with this. Get rid of you. I was hoping the King Cobra would eat the other King Cobra. Get rid of the locust. That does add the water plots, which right now I don't like, but I will probably like later. Okay, good. Crow. I mean, it's very okay. Very quick way to uh, to fill our board with crows <laughs> in specific. All right, I could get rid of the king cobra now as well. Like, I only. Oh no, I have two. Ah, I'll chance it. I'll chance that the King Cobra is not going to eat our other Viper. I want one of them to eat the other one because then we can, like... It's kind of a little bit of a freeway. Not freeway. It's a cheaper way to uh, actually get said removal. This ant's obviously going to go away. I was hoping that the rooster would go away, but if they're both in the net, that's obviously not going to work. And it costs five to remove the net, so... I'm going to remove the rooster manually. But yet. Oh, we have another fly? No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez Louise. Okay, give me a couple more vipers. That's just good. Okay, what are we at? Four, eight, nine. Does double value from plots? That's gotta include beehives too. Oh, I see. I see. I didn't think about that. I was just thinking about the uh, the plots that are in the game by default. The fly's going to get removed. So that's probably how to actually do the plot, the bee plot build. Predation a bee or a queen bee? Huh. I wish it was just the bee. I feel like I, I see that. Oh, God. I see the angle for that a little bit better. We're obviously going to be filling our board with uh, a lot of crap here. Okay. All right. I think that's about good at this point. If something is trapped, it does still... Okay, so it like keeps on automatically doing it. That's a little sad, but it's good. Spider could obviously rip through all of my, my bees very quickly. I think we just... I think we say screw this. We'll just get the extra plot for now. Like, it's a little bit weird with the bees of it all. Okay. 
and leave behind honey. There's got to be another bee-based item to make this actually, like, a little bit better. Three refresh is very good. Two for all other of the same bugs when a bug is added to the field is, is good. We'll get the three, because we can still stay at the 25. I'm just leaving the trash bags. I think I'm going to probably end up leaving the trash bags the whole game, which is obviously... It's not great. I'm not going to sit here and say I like it. Whoa. Alright. A bunch of crap is added. Yeah, a bunch of stuff that does not really work. I think we're going to want to go for... Uh, I think we can actually afford a couple fireflies. Oh, shoot. Weird. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of the fly. Get rid of the other fly since we're already... We already messed up our econ there. Okay, so they get trapped. They give us the 10. Do they give us money during the day? Oh, they give you money during the day if they're uh, they're trapped. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. 32. I mean, you're going to get yoinked. Yeah, it's not what I wanted to do, but it is going to give us 40, 40 bucks per uh, day. It's pretty good. Okay. Good money from that. I don't know. Is it like a build though? I don't think it's really a build right now. Uh, I think two more queen bees is overkill. I hate that this ant exists. At least you're not infected here. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't have any... This just doesn't really have any good scaling to it. Obviously, like, the plots are giving us... They're giving us money. They're giving us an amount. Ying Long. How's that gonna... That doesn't do anything here, though. When on the beehive, it'll fill with honey... What if it works? What if it works? I'm doing it because what if it works, right? Like, it can it can be pretty good with the vipers. Like, it can start to trigger them multiple times, but... Oh my god, it does work. It makes them summon more honey. Interesting. I don't think we need more vipers. I think we have it. Uh, the the potential downside is, of course, that it seems like it also... Um, I mean, downside, quote, unquote, is that it procs the queen bee. Which is a little bit weird. I forgot we got two... Okay, hold on. So, no, he, he just makes them proc their honey early. It doesn't do anything. It's not good. It's not good. It just means we're going to get even more bees than we already have, which we don't really have an issue where I'm like, I need more bees. Okay. So, God, I guess I don't want these, which is annoying. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? How do I increase the value of all these bees? Like, how do I increase the value of the bees? I, I really need to get rid of these plots, too, because, like, we're losing value in that. Thousand for the next. Queen B will breed a bee on adjacent empty beehive. I mean, that's good. Okay. We'll see. Maybe I can unlock this. God, like... I think I... I'm going to get rid of the seawater. Well, how does it work? Because the net is... No, it's... Oh, it's if something gets grabbed by the hook? When an animal is removed from a fishing net, the plot becomes a seawater. But... Does it? Does it, or will it become... What will happen first? Moment of truth here. Uh, 
Okay, we got the Longhorn Beetle. Poor Econ when eating honey, seafood, or poop. I mean, it's good, but not if he's trapped there. Okay, so we did get the honey. We did get the honey. All right. So it works in the generous way. I should have looked and removed this then. Okay, so you got the four. So you're the scaling of this build, I guess. I don't know if I think it looks like it's a great scaling. All right, we might we might have. I thought that I thought that wasn't gonna work this whole time. Silly me, silly me. Okay, good. We got bees there. Silly me. We we could have uh, we could have been doing it a little bit earlier. Oh well. Longhorn Beetle's at fourteen. Firefly doesn't make it sense anymore. I don't know. Like I feel like I can't really make too many um, wild plays because I think it's gonna be super tight. Like I don't see how this build has like a long term success plan yet like even the longhorn beetles not gonna be getting value that quickly and we got that one randomly right like do i see this making it to the end of the stages yeah maybe yeah i think we could probably do that god free him that really sucks We're out of queen bees. That's the other thing that kind of sucks here. We need queen bees or we're going to need... Um, the dung beetle could be good. Or some queen bees. That's good too. Thank you. Yes. Queen bees is what I asked for. Uh, we have one day. I'm not going to free that guy this, this wave when we can get some econ at the very least. 590. I think I could probably trash some trash bags. I probably could. But like I don't need I don't clearly don't need this slot yet. 670. Ugh. I do not care about that ability. When an animal's cooldown decrease, make an adjacent animal gain an econ. I am actually really curious about with the bees. Because it'll increase the value the speed at which this stuff will scale. Don't get trapped. Okay. Because... Odd. No! <laughs> you demon. Um, I guess I don't really care about this. The butterfly, when gaining extra money, adjacent animals gain the same money. Now that, that's some scaling. Because that takes your honey value and it spreads it around. So that's good. Not if you're caught in a freaking net. That's so sickening. But yeah, that helps our scaling for sure. So you have five. So so this is going to increase the value of the B plots faster because it scales on the level of the income of the B. Okay. God, I, I, I want to free you, but... We're gonna have to do that. I just. God, you stinker. I hate the fishing nets, man. I hate them. So, the viper spawning the bees to then get the honey, like, to then get the honey here, and then. That is really nice. Like, that that checks out as working. It's This is a janky build. This is a janky build. Do I think I have a thousand extra bucks? I think I can have a thousand extra bucks for this, but I don't know. Okay. Having extra plots is nice. 
Okay. I'll do it. What's the, I wonder what the last one's going to be. Okay. Good. I feel like it works well with the Vipers, too. The queen be trapped there. Good, 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 good. Oh, it's only a thousand for the last one also. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I was not expecting that. That's a weird choice, but I'm with it. Oh, it's a weird choice, but I'm with it. It's going to speed the bees up. But, like, when they die, they leave the, the juice as well. I don't know. It's so like, the fact that they gain econ is is interesting from this. Like, as it starts to level up. Which means it just scales even faster. I don't know. Stag beetle. If it's less than three, remove it to gain its econ. It's it's absolutely an idea. I would have done it. God, I hate trash bags because I just I I can't bring myself to spend that. I, but I should. But I can't bring myself to do it. But I should. I don't think the tortoise is necessarily the way. But it's just like... It's kind of nice. Free removal. care about any of these items so I guess I don't really need to open up an extra slot that's just the truth okay Ugh. you're gonna poison my guys you're gonna poison my dudes in my base poisoning my dudes not that big of a deal really actually question is, do we want more giant tortoise? I think we want more butterflies. They see... Oh, I hate the nets. I hate the nets. They ruin this. And then watch, they're gonna go in here. Please spawn my bees in here. Don't spawn my butterflies in there so they can at least be free. This is my last stage. If we can just get the victory with this weird as hell build, like I'm, I'm with it already. Okay, we're gonna get an extra. We're gonna get a honey plot starting to go there. All right. Yeah, I just, just, just let it go. Just, if, if it works, it works. Okay, 104. So yeah, you're gonna get this, and then you're gonna. Whoop. Yeah, spreading. This is the way to spread the honey. I hate them getting trapped in there because the then we can't fill it up with the honey. It's so. Oh my god. This is not the build for this map. That is very clear. Five days left. Okay. Love that. Love that. Love that. And it's on a net. <laughs> Oh, God, okay. We made it. We made it with this. That's pretty good. The beehives at 41. Ying Long. I don't think so. You better. We'll stay at 10, but it's like... I don't know, man. Right? Uh, 
I mean, Longhorn Beetle would have been nice a while ago. Ugh. Okay. 60 for that. It's pretty good, all things considered. 750. We certainly can. Alright, now that we know we're in the clear. Now that we know for a fact we're in the clear and I don't really care anymore. I'm willing to I'm willing to send that. Just wanted to make sure that we we had at least the uh, the stage victory so that we could progress to the next stage. So we can get to uh, the final, you know, towards the final cat unlocks sooner than later. I love that. I love that big burst there. I'm gonna let this guy get yoinked, but like, how is it, why is it that it's always the longhorn beetles that keep getting trapped? And the butterflies. Like, what's going on? Is it... I guess it's because the bees are getting... Tr when the bees get trapped, they eventually get removed. Whereas the butterflies and such are far more permanent. There, we got a victory. Do I imagine... Animal gets two econ after eating honey? Oh my god! <laughs> That's... That would have been nice. That would have been nice. We're just going to free this stuff. We're going to free this stuff. I'm going to leave it at five because I just can't bring myself to have no econ. I wouldn't mind if like a turtle or something. Queen bee getting hooked is a little bit annoying. Got a penguin. Am I fine with just leaving the penguin? I kind of am. Moai bird is an idea. Ying Long with the, uh, the, t the tortoise is an idea so you get 14 but you're like that's at 135 dude it's actually it's starting to be something no pun intended okay uh let's think about this well if we do this we're gonna have to so the, they instantly get it. They also get the extra royal jelly. God, I wish I wish we got the royal jelly earlier. We can probably afford to get rid of the tortoises at this point. Dung beetle is... Made, dung beetle probably would have made some sense, but... I don't think we make this day. Which is not, I've got to, I got to make that clear. I don't think it's particularly surprising if we don't. We're out of queen bees. All right. I mean, this is the way so that like when stuff gets all the value and then it goes away. I mean, I don't know. Four. Queen ants. Queen bee. There we go. I don't think it's the way, but like, I, I think it's basically, let's just try and add the death worm there. Because it's, we'll see if we can salvage one more day. But I imagine like we're, we're not looking too great as it is. And then you're also trapped there. You're up to 39. I mean, it's something. Yeah, it's, it's certainly something. Huge. I feel like an alpaca would go really well with this, but obviously we can't get one. What? What? I didn't we get? We got a. Oh. There's a world where that could have ended us. So you're 61. You're 49. Yeah, I think it's just a no-go. We can only have so many of those. You're not poisoned, so I want you rude. Okay. The stag beetle is an interesting way to do things, too. Alright. Is there a shot? 
Unfortunately, that didn't count. We can spread that. Did it? Okay, Queen Ant, Mantis, Crow. I'm gonna add 28 to both of these. Because I also don't think we... I don't think we need to do that as much anymore. Let me see, get rid of the Rebirth spell. I don't think it has anything to do with it. But I also... I think we're dead. Yeah. It's like... As interesting as the build is in... Uh, in concepts... In practice, it's just not that good. Um, but the thing is... It's just very item dependent. If we would have gotten the honey earlier... It, uh, it would have been a whole different thing. It's pretty cool that we got the pretty good value out of that. And um, importantly to note, we have now unlocked every single animal. That is 100% collection there, 100% collection there, and obviously 82% collection there. Uh, I like this guy. I like that guy uh, quite a bit, obviously. Complete Ocean Level 9. Collect all of the toys. I mean, we're almost, we're almost there. Um, if I have time, I'll probably just start and stop a bunch of games. I think I said that before. Since, you know, we need to beat nine for that. Collect all toys for that. Uh, all right. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day. I mean, I will at this point, it seems like we're going to be trying to go for 100% completion. At least 100% uh, unlocks here. I don't know if I care about the more obscure, weird achievements that don't give you anything. I don't really personally care. Alas, alas, that is that. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.